So, installing Android Studio in Ubuntu. Though this video is made in Ubuntu 20, but it can be followed by any other version as well, cause the procedure is gonna be the same. Anyway, let's not waste any time, right? To get started, of course you first need to have Android Studio on your machine. Well, very simple, just download it from their website, like so. Read it if you want, um, I never do. And it started. Of course, since this is any other typical tutorial, I will cancel it, because I'm having it already, right? But once done for you, it's gonna show up in downloads directory. Now that we have it, we need to extract the file somewhere, right? And where exactly? Well, although you can extract the file anywhere in home directory and it will work just fine. But Linux folks recommend that you use one of these two locations. And that for some good reasons, you know? So now we need to decide which one of these two. And that is really dependent on our needs. Well, it's quite simple. You choose OPT if you have multiple users and they all need to access Android Studio. Otherwise, if you are a single user, then just choose user local. And that is the very common case as well. Let's open the terminal here and navigate to user local by the command cd. And to mention, if you have chosen the other location which was opt, then just type opt instead of user local and that's the only difference. Once in the directory, we will extract the downloaded file here and for doing that we will use the command tar tar is basically a linux command which is used for compressing and extracting the files in linux so tar with the flag of xvzf followed by sudo because we do need to have super user privilege and then at the end we need to mention the path of our downloaded android studio file well just drag and drop the file into the terminal and it's automatically gonna detect the path of it and then press enter if you are new to linux then you must be feeling like a hacker right now right anyway it's gonna be done any moment and yup done let's now enter ls for listing out the items and there we see a new android studio directory well let's navigate into it by the command cd again and then ls again and the bin directory here we need to navigate into it so let's hit cd again and there we see this executable file which is studio.sh to run it just type dot slash studio.sh of course the basic installation is complete but there's still one more thing that i need to show so hold on with me right and now this is just the basic setup wizard so keep clicking next and choose the options as you desire there at this moment, it's gonna download few files like SDK tools or some important files for Linux. So expect to give it a little bit of time and it is also dependent on the speed of your internet. Once done, just click finish and there you have it, Android Studio up and running. But as I promised, I still had to show one more thing, right? And that was to create a launcher icon. So you see all these launcher icons available to you and you can launch the application by just clicking on one. Unfortunately though, you do not get this functionality by default in Android Studio. But fortunately, it's easy to enable it. Just click on configure and then create desktop entry. Type in your password and authenticate. Well, that's it. Close the running Android Studio and relaunch it through the launcher icon and then enjoy your work. That is the end of the video and yeah, thank you so much for watching.